techno doormat, but I fucked that up. That's my bad. Um. You have any plans for weekend Liberty Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at six. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Final inspection before Liberty. Good job, Kelso. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. The bore is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the bore is immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Uh, Two-day oh, field drill. Man. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Okay, so that was a flashback. Um... Just in case you couldn't figure it out, Cole was not generally liked by the man, by the men he commanded. Uh, I apologize for skipping the tutorial. Now there were more flashbacks. Um, those flashbacks were just Cole being at the top of his class when he was training to be a uh, when he was training to be an officer. Dude got rolled out, of and it was a hit and run. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, find out Cole was not generally liked, stuff All like right, that. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me, a hit-and-run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site, the coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my sap. All right, so. I think he was a really nice guy. I felt lousy tolerating him. I used to be indecisive. He was in the bath. Now I'm not so sure. Well, taking like a stink. <laughs> I used to be indecisive. Now I'm not so sure. I don't want to be rude, but I ain't got time to talk. Can you drive right. to this one? I'm going to have my partner drive this time. Just to show you guys what's up. Because it's sweet. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let it go. <laughs> How do you do that? I'll give him something better. Ho oh, Cole. You silly bitch. Yeah, we missed out on some decent stuff in the tutorial. I really regret not playing it now. But, not much I can do about it. Detectives, over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Oh Is that so? Goodness. We'll take a formal statement later. Right now we're going to take a look around. Ah, uh, some of the stuff is chipping off of my tritons. And they're, the Phelps? amp is dirty. They should take... Landed on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. Oh, this is the coroner. We'll, uh... 
You'll really come to like this guy, I do. He's an upright fellow. Pavement looks incredible. So do these character models. Oh, that's a naughty word. Madison has life insurance. It seems a bit weird to be carrying that on you. We can notify next of kin. Don't know why we were looking at the money, but we can look at it. Um, anything on the wrists? Hands? Just lots of blood. Um, anything else? Anything, anything? Oh, I can't wait for the next missions after this. If it's what I'm thinking. If they really are what I'm thinking of. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent foot ornament. Those things are killers. Okay. So we're looking for a car with a prominent hood on it. Oh my god, look at all that blood spatter. The body traveled a good 20 feet. Yeah, that's a... It's quite a ways to travel once you hit the ground. This blood is a long way from the body. Yeah. The yeah, has been going like a bat out of hell. Uh... Marks. So the driver managed to brake before the impact. All right, let's see. It's all yours, Detective. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. All right, let's see what we can get out can of there. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Okay. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. All right, that's true. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. All right. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Oh, there it is. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress, and things look pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Mr. Perry. Okay. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. Uh... Certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. All right. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. I see. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Bullshit. 
So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. You're pretty ugly. Do you know the victim? Dudley. Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. He's straight shooting on that one. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Yeah. <laughs> was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. I see. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Ah, sneaky glance. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Me, Lorna text. was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy. Leroy Sabo. The owner. All right. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. I call BS friend. You have one of those faces that that make me say you're probably make me say you're probably lying. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Sorry, texting. Um, Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you gonna tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Aha, poker Thanks games. for your help, Lynch. I'm gonna need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. Oops, kicked over a Red Bull bottle. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. I smell something delicious. And Lester delicious was a fan of a love own. tap. Ah. So okay. this is why everybody comes to raise. Anything back here? No, nothing back here. What's out here? Anything of great interest around here? Oh, there's some. Oh, what, what was I? Um. Oh, music. Oh, I felt it. I felt a jigger, jiggle on the controller. Oh. Knife covered in blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Yep. That's absolutely correct. Careful where you're stepping, Phelps. I don't give a shit. I don't come shit. down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. I tap dance on my own desk, thank you very much. Nothing. Is there something I'm missing? Ooh, ooh, I heard, heard a jingle. There's a newspaper somewhere around here. Where is there a newspaper? I don't want to use intuition. Oh, wow. Hey, look at that. Anything up here? Don't uh, I don't think there is. Now 
let us slide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, already did that. I just felt a super jiggle. This doesn't pertain to the case. Yeah, no, sh no shit, Sherlock. I doubt it. Looks like a spark plug. I don't know why. It what the fuck is this newspaper? It's somewhere around. There's a newspaper somewhere around here. I can hear the jingle. You know what? Screw it. I don't even care. I don't even care. I have two intuition points. What? Oh my god, really? <sighs> I was just gonna head back in here. Alright, let's watch this. Courtney! Come in! Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? Um, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned and sanatorium. We can reveal the root of the problem. Then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. Whoa. So we find out he's doing some illegal shit. There's the phone. There's the phone. Go, Cole, go. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, Detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks. Yeah, it takes a little bit for Looks them like to Looks like we've got a break on this one. Hang up. So I'm not going to drive there. I'm going to have my partner drive. Yeah. All right, we completed everything. You're behind the wheel. Uh, where are we going? We're gonna go miss it, visit Mrs. Pattinson. Okay, guys, uh, right after this finishes saving, I'm going to cut it here. Um, I hope uh, I hope you all enjoy this. All right. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you all soon.